Well, some local artists with disabilities, they're turning heads using new technology and tools. They are surprising many in the art world in a major way. And I got a close-up look at the incredible program going on at United Cerebral Palsy of Philadelphia. It's giving people there a chance to unleash the artist within. Can you move back a little bit? Brown and yellow. Rynell Townsend is working on an impressive and colorful painting. How is that now? Yeah, that's the good. Right? Okay. The 26 year old has cerebral palsy and an intellectual disability, but that's not stopping him from creating a powerful piece. The rain, the ocean, and the trees. Rynell is using artistic realization technologies, or ART, to swirl and spin the paint across the canvas. ART gives people with severe physical challenges a way to express themselves. You got it. Rynell wears a headband with a laser attached. He uses the laser by moving his head to show an assistant called a tracker exactly where he wants the paint to go. Is it going the way you want? Yes. Cool. The individual chooses the colors. Yellow and red. How they're mixed, the size of the paintbrush. Yep. That one. The canvas, everything. Just a simple nod of the head or a yes or no to the tracker's questions, and a painting is created one brush stroke at a time. I just try to get in the zone of following Keep going. their direction, the laser, you know, based on the techniques of ART. Oh, I like the way I did it. It looks really nice. And completely stay out of that. They just lead the way. Rynell is one of about 20 people at United Cerebral Palsy of Philadelphia who are part of the ART program here. They get to paint once a week. Every Tuesday, they transcend their physical limitations and just let themselves go. I love it. I love how it feels. It's really my favorite thing to do. And it's just been a hit from day one. The artist has control of this process from start to finish. And so, yeah, they're empowered. They get a chance to be creative and just kind of let their inner thoughts come out on canvas. It's a beautiful thing. Right here. Right here. None of the artists have had any formal instruction. No art theory, no nothing. It's all coming from within. How big you want the curve to be? With some of the people we work with, you just feel the artist in them. Right there. It just comes so natural. And what comes out is amazing. I like pink, red, purple, green. Yellow, I'm creative person. As the artists at UCP use the laser to paint some mind-blowing masterpieces, the man behind it all, Princeton artist Tim Leffens, is often close at hand. The reason I come so much is because the potential here is gigantic. Leffens came up with the technique more than 20 years ago after showing some of his artwork to people with severe disabilities at a rehab center. He was determined to find a way for them to paint. These two colors again? Even if they couldn't talk or hold a paintbrush. It's saved up inside them. You know, I mean, it's all in there, and it has to come out. There's a lot of power in painting. Pretty good. Billy Aviles feels that power. Pretty good. ART is liberating for him. Painting has changed his world. This is one of his framed, finished pieces. And yes, Billy and others have had plenty of offers to sell their work. I'm pretty impressed about that. It makes me happy. People want to buy it, people want to see it, they want to know how did I do it. And how does that make you feel right now? Pretty good. The most beautiful thing is that they're unguided. Ironically, Tim Leffen started teaching this technology not too long after learning of his own disabling condition. Leffens has a hereditary degeneration of the retina that's left him legally blind. While his own sight has dimmed, his vision for his students is bright. Everybody, if they let loose, can make great art. If they just let themselves out and that we don't interfere with them. We just give them the keys to the, to the Ferrari and that's what comes out.
incredible. ART has close to 30 programs going on nationwide. Some of the work is so outstanding, it's garnered high praise from renowned art experts and is being exhibited in major museums and New York galleries. There have even been bidding wars over a few of the pieces. The hope at UCP is to expand this inspiring program to include children. UCP is in the process of trying to raise the money to make that happen. And for more information, you can just go to our website, fox29.com.